was your record label's headquarters? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, and it's convenient because the studio's right down here, Lafayette. Yeah, Lafayette. Yeah. So. Well, we're, well, there's not much known about Remove Records, is there? No. It's kind of an underground organization. Yeah, I, I've I've heard that. We've been working on the documentary a little bit, yeah. right? Um, Remove Records uh, used to be a record label, and then. Uh, we kind of got caught, right? We kind of got caught between a rock and a hard place with the record label. We had to remove all the records. <laughs> John, what's your favorite kind of wire? You get the really tiny wire. It goes on the fucking six string of the guitar. It's real small. You might cut your freaking fingers on it when you change the string out. You get the big fat wire. So the, the small wire is not my favorite because it breaks sometimes. I like the big wire. I like the wire you plug in the back of the PA system. I like the wire that you plug into the fucking Fender Twin. You crank it up. It sounds real good. Least favorite wire, small guitar wire. That one breaks all the freaking time. That's all I got. What, you, what is this? Wire chat? they're doing that did you hear about the studio at lafayette coney island yeah in the basement yeah the basement studio yeah are you gonna be doing shit there just mopping up yeah what's uh have you ever mopped um like how slow do you mop would you say i wet it first and you then i first. mop it up okay. so it takes twice the amount of time as a regular mop of Billboard and Top 200 in the past uh, 25 years all record in hotel rooms. Really? They, hotel rooms already sound like an album. Okay. It's, we're on a cactus club right now. Yeah, you ever been? Oh. First time. What can we expect from a place like Cactus Club? Well... A bunch of pricks. <laughs> You gotta love it. You gotta love it. You really do. Um, Remove Records has been buying up a lot of properties in the oh, yeah, Detroit buddies. area. It's uh, really trying to be, become one of the premier Detroit record labels. What do you uh, What do you think about that? I mean, it's gotta affect you in some way. Yeah, it's also bootlegging. Turn the brightness up. Yeah, I want to get a good look at this chicken. <laughs> I don't smell it. <laughs> it smells true. You're about to slow down your album. We're slowing it down. How slow can you go? What do you think about the? Uh, what do you think about the mansions on that block on Chicago Boulevard? I wish I, heard... I could live there, but I can't afford it. Yeah, you're right. Any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alex, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, oh, when I order breakfast, I'll, I'll just order a Coney on the side. That's what, that's what you do? Yeah. Uh, it depends on what band. How many bands are you in? I don't know. Like over 15, probably. <laughs> like 15 bands. 
Yeah, I play drums in a lot of bands. That like, that's cool. Does that mean I'm in the band if I play drums? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Uh, Why uh, do you like music? Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a reason to get drunk. Um, I just really like playing drums, honestly. And like most bands need a drummer, so that's like, true. Those are pretty. Yeah, when did you start to play music? Probably when I was like 14 or 15. Why did you start? I, I was listening to a lot of like emo music, honestly, or like the Beatles and Jimi Hendrix. Okay. That's what got me. It was like either emo, it was like either emo bands or like the Beatles and Jimi Hendrix. Both. Hello. Here's the thing about onions. When you eat an onion, it has a certain flavor that when you eat it, it tastes like that flavor. Mopping it up, and that's why I'm here. You know, yeah, you get mopped it up. Really <laughs> can you fucking? Can you just shut up? Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> What does Detroit music mean to you? It's all bad. I did not wear eyeliner, actually. Are you wearing eyeliner right now? No, I'm Do way too lazy. Do you wish you were wearing eyeliner right now? I don't wish I was wearing eyeliner right now, but like, if it was on, I wouldn't be opposed. At the tone, please leave a message for one, two, four, eight, five, four. So what's going on with your studio right now, sir? I gotta move the whole fucking studio in a fucking day. A whole one day? That's it? One day. Are you stressed about that? Because that of sounds like a lot. Of course I'm fuck. Oh. Am I? Am I? This <laughs> It smells like stress. I smell the stench of stress stressed. in the I'm air. I'm a little stressed. You're a little stressed. What's What's the most stressful thing about that? Do you think? The wires. The snakes? There's wires coming into the speakers. There's wires going into the recording equipment. There's wires coming out of the freaking guitars. There's wires on the guitars. We're on a first name basis, or we will be. That's kind of where I'm headed. We will be. We will be. <laughs> when, I, when I ask him, Mr. Daniels, you want to be in my film? What, is, what does he prefer to go by? Is it Mr. Daniels or Jeff? No, 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 not by me. Tells me to call him Jeff. I try to. That's my that's my goal. Man. Some say I look like him, or how he used to look. You know. Is your new movie gonna be? Is it inspired by him at all? Oh god, yeah. Yeah, he's the centerpiece. He's in the movie. He's gonna be. Yeah. He's gonna be in the movie. Andrew's nice and fun. You gotta get around. Get in there and get that cleaned up. Get that mopping going. Get it all mopped up. Now, that's the real band manager work. That's behind the scenes. We in the basement, Coney Island. Record mastering your album, getting shows. I mean, they all think being band manager is just getting free beer every show. Hanging out, selling records. Ain't all fun and games. Sometimes you gotta get down there, mop it up. Uh, this is Brendan here. Um, yeah, we just want to let you know we're almost done <laughs> removing all the records. Um, we're working on it. We're getting there. We'll have them removed pretty soon. Um, so we're working hard on that. Um, 
Yeah, if you, if you need any uh, records removed or anything, yeah, give us a call. Put the number here. So how do you all get your signature sound? Uh, well, you know, you are playing a song, right? And right, you, right. The first thing you're thinking is, how slow can I get this? How slow can I play? And there's only, you can only play so slow. So um, what we do is we use a little bit of studio magic to get it down to like a slowness level that the, the public is used to. Right. And your, your studio is well known for that. You have a lot of musicians coming to you looking for the, that slow sound. Right, yeah, I mean, you can't just, not, it just it takes a lot of experience. Not anybody can just slow a song down. Yeah. It's uh, something you hone into after years and years of being in the business, working with the, with the people who, who you, slow you, songs you, down at worked, a professional so, level. Yeah, you've, you've worked with some of the best around. Uh, who, and some of the worst around. <laughs> Who's, who's the slowest? <laughs> you can't, if we're laughing. Yeah, honestly, I've been looking um, at a couple of these buildings here in Corktown. Um, but to be honest, um, you know, as much as I love Remove, what they have done is they've, they've, uh, they've just bought all these floors in these buildings here. Um, they bought like that, that building right over there. The baseball stadium? You're saying a record label bought the, the baseball It's unbelievable. Yeah. What it ended up doing is jacking up the prices. Now it's like, it's almost impossible to afford any real estate. Yeah. Ready? Don't fuck yourself, Johnny. Don't fuck yourself. Oh! Oh! No! No! Sam, you win! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to cause any tension. We'll leave. We'll leave. We'll leave. Hey, we'll leave. We're out of here. We don't want a problem. We don't want a problem.